What's up guys, Aiden here, Aiden's Lawn and Landscaping. Welcome back to another video. And today in this video, we are going over to that lawn that I showed you last week, and we are gonna be ripping out those old rocks and probably putting in the new ones. But first, I remember I told you the grass is long, so I have to go ahead and cut it. And I'm gonna be bagging off of that one because it's really long and tarping it up. But a quick addition to the setup, the shirt can 2.2. So I'll be giving a uh, review on the sure can but it is not sponsored by sure can i got this as a gift and my aunt purchased it with her own money so i'm going to be doing those rocks and this is going to be a how to replace river rock video so hope you guys enjoy all right guys i made it here and i'm going to be cutting this grass but i mean look how tall it is it's like six to seven inches tall so i'm going to be bagging it cutting it four inches and then after i bag it all i'm going to drop it back two three inches and cut it there um it's a pretty nice lawn um i'm gonna cut it real quick ready three two one all right guys we got this entire lawn all cut nice edges along the side here and uh we're gonna go ahead and start removing this rock um i normally don't bring my rig in the backyard because of the steep hill but since we're going to be removing rock and uh putting it all in five gallon buckets i wanted to be have my stuff accessible to me so i'm going to go ahead and put it on a time lapse for you and show you me removing the rock Alright guys, quick update. I decided and I'm uh, removing the rock. The bucket's about a quarter of the way filled and uh, this is what it's looking like after I just laid one bag of rock. I think the customer underestimated how much he'd need. He only bought three bags. We're going to need like eight bags. So what I'm going to do is just get all these rocks out and finish up the bags all the way through here, probably to where these few are and just run it out. And then when he gets more rocks, I'll come back and finish the rest. All right, guys, I took a quick break from laying rock and I moved on to uh, raking this mulch back here. I don't know if you can see that, but I raked it pretty far back here. Let's go up here. You can see I raked all the mulch back, but um, he only bought three bags of rock and uh, Let's just put it that that's how far two got us. So I'm uh, starting on the brick paper edging on this side. So what I did is I raked all the mulch and all the dirt back all the way down to this black plastic stuff. And we're gonna just be cleaning that right out along the edge and laying the brick right there. We're gonna just try to get it as even as possible. That's all we're doing here. So I'll pick up a little bit of footage of me laying some brick. Hope you guys enjoy. guys that's gonna be a wrap for this one let's bring you up to date and show you what we've done that's about as far as we got with the rock so that's about we still have more than half to go but we did brick paver edging over on this side all the way up I think it looks pretty nice I uh there it is right there and I tied it in like that with the rock so um I cut the grass too so it's a pretty profitable day here but I need the customer to pick up some more rock for me to finish up this job and then I'll come back and do brick paper edging with the leftover papers over there uh, for the rest but uh, for now that's all I do so I just kind of go around the yard and look for any loose material that needs to come out I just pick it up and take it with me but uh 
With that, I'm Aiden from Aiden's Lawn Landscaping. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, guys, I wanted to consider this video a video where I showed you how to install brick pavers and edging, but I didn't really show you how it was supposed to be done. So I figured here I'd go ahead and explain what has to be done. So by no means am I like a brick professional or a masonry person, but um, you know, the customer just wanted a basic edging put down, so that's what I went ahead and did. So what I did is I raked all the mulch back, which you guys had already seen, and then I cleaned out all the space and then I went ahead and started laying brick and then as you get further up as you can see here I went ahead and I started raking mulch back you can see that here and then I laid the pavers down and then I was stomping on them I'm sure you can see that as we speak now and then I went ahead and raked the mulch back in and sloped it so that it would not wash down on the brick but then for the river rock i went ahead and completely removed all the other rock raked it up loosened it trimmed up all the bushes in there took the weeds out and everything and then i went ahead and neatly laid all the other rock down sloping it down towards the grass so that the rocks don't end up in the grass so i hope that makes more sense than what um you know just showing you time lapses with music so that's what i just wanted to go ahead and explain all right guys i wanted to give everybody a quick update on the hostas because i figured you all wanted to see them after i planted them and they're right here um here's the variegated one and the regular one and then i put the other two over in here like so they're planted in no specific order i just put them there and i'll eventually go ahead and go back and split them so that's where i wanted to put them for now so yeah, that's all I had for this video. With that, I'm Aiden from Azalon Landscaping. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.